Hi everyone, this is Valentine. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am taking a level up in jewelry and luxury reviews on this channel of mine. Today I am going to unbox and review Diamonds by Graf. Oh! For those who have no idea, Graf, it's uh, one of the most elite diamonds house worldwide. So guys, Graf was established and founded by the British jeweler Lawrence Graf in 1960. And if you've never heard about Graf, this is because Graf, it's a British multinational, many billion dollars worth of a jewelry company where rare diamonds are sold. It is considered to be the only one ultra high-end brand around the world. Like it's not a high-end, it's not like a luxury, it's like ultra luxury type of a brand, which this is explains how and why many people aren't familiar like with this brand, because it's just for only the richest of the very rich people that could only afford it. This is why people just don't know about it. They don't need marketing. They don't need like promotions. If you are like, you know, into the luxury, you will know what Graph is. Graph, it's like a lot of levels higher than like mass market brands like Cartier, like Van Cleef and so very on. Graph, it's like a true luxury. It's like the elite of the luxury brands. It's famous in Europe though, but in a specific societies, like I can say guys that in Russia, most of the people from Russia knows what Graf is. Also, it's famous in France, it's famous in UK, in Italy, you know, that type of countries like Switzerland. Um, so some countries more familiar with Graf, some countries less familiar with Graf, as well as of course, that specific societies are familiar with this brand and others aren't. So I have to say guys that I picked up um, the cheapest like items from graph because obviously i ain't that rich i am not like a billionaire or anything like that not even close to that unfortunately but i am doing well so i choose two pieces for my newborn daughter as a gift for her and these are basically uh one of the most like cheapest like items on the website the total price that i paid for these two items i can already tell you after taxes uh and i'm talking about like north carolina taxes it's eight thousand and six hundred dollars this is how much i paid yes now back to the history of the brand so the house was established by the British jeweler Lawrence Graf in 1960. So Lawrence Graf has been known to collect the world's most magnificent and expensive diamonds. I guess he was very rich, right? So the House of Graf sells and owns the most rarest gemstones in the world and the brand worth billion and billion of dollars because they basically owns the most rare diamonds all around the world. Graf created the most expensive watch in the world, by the way, which comes at a whopping price tag of a 55 million dollars by the way guys i truly think this watch is ugly sorry no offense it's an ugly watch i mean like let's face it like let's um you know say the truth i'm not looking to be nice to anyone i mean this is my opinion anyway let me know down below in the comments what do you think do you like the watch or you do not also these are two gorgeous pieces from graph that i've got i've got the pave butterfly diamond petite stud earrings for my newborn daughter these are beautiful diamond studs and they are a perfect choice for a baby girl. Then I have the Pave Butterfly Diamond Petite Necklace. The concept of this necklace, and I only realized that after I've got it, and I couldn't understand why the motifs are like always, you know, messed around. So the idea is that to make the motifs look like the butterflies are about to take flight. And this is why they aren't like evenly made on the necklace. So the butterflies are like never gonna be all facing one direction. They're always like gonna be butterflies that they're gonna face in, and some are gonna face out and first thing i was like i don't understand why it's like such a messed up i called graph and i was like something is wrong with my necklace it just doesn't work right i mean all the butterflies are just always flipped over and they're like no girl uh you are so poor first of all this is what they told me no i'm just kidding they didn't but they were really nice actually by the way the surface is amazing they explained me the concept that the necklace is made in that way that each butterfly sits in a different direction and this is how they're trying to make the butterflies to look like they are about to take a flight Light. So um, we've decided already that my daughter Vera, she's gonna wear the necklace once she's gonna be old enough, I think around like eight years old, um, since we don't wanna have any risks of suffocation, 
hazards from the chin as well as i ain't gonna stud her ears yet i think i'm gonna wait until she'll be like i don't know same age like seven eight years old also the reason for that and i think that honestly to be the main reason for that i won't do it now but i will wait for her um to be like older is that i want it to be her decision because what if she'll grow up and she was like well what have you done i've never wanted my ears to be studded why did you do that to me like you know so i want her to make the decision because i respect her and i respect her opinion obviously you do whatever you feel like with your baby it's just simply my own personal opinion guys let me know down below in the comments if you will buy that type of jewelry for your kid or for your newborn this is obviously more like an investment uh for her because obviously in seven eight years from now it's gonna worth way more money i don't know like eleven thousand dollars maybe ten thousand dollars because you know prices are going up so that's gonna be nice for her to wear that type of jewelry and i hope she'll like it you know when she will be able to like things so another super cool thing what happened is that i've put it two videos into my tiktok account of unboxing this very like the same jewelry from graph and it went viral i've got like um about three three and a half million views on both of these videos and tons like tons of comments and everyone was talking about sana and i was like what are you even talking about so figured out after my videos goes viral graph just made mina tozaki sana being the very first celebrity ambassador for this ultra high-end diamonds brand so her fans found my video and commented on my post and made it to go viral from a quick research i understand that sana she is a japanese um k-pop star if you want to see more if you want to like you know read more um comments and information go to my tiktok it's valentine lewis and you will find the videos that are pinned at the very first row you'll be able to find it and read all the interesting comments there it's like lots of information right there but yeah i still have no idea who is sana i just you know telling you the facts i am so very excited so today i'm gonna read two pieces it's this necklace that i'm wearing right now and this uh, cute little earrings that I'm wearing as well. Of course that I will prefer like, you know, a huge rock. I mean, at least like my engagement ring. So my engagement ring, it's two carats. My husband gifted this to me as, you know, when he proposed. So for the money he paid for two carats, we could get maybe like 0.3 carats in graph because graph is incredibly like expensive. I mean, even if I'm gonna compare graph to Lucky Rose, like high end, like elite houses out there, like Chapard, so Chapard, you can still get away with a bracelet for like two grand, with a ring for like two grand. They do have stuff for like a thousand dollars, for two thousand dollars, for a few. So like basically for a few grand, you can go away with like a lot of things. Mm -mm, things aren't the same with Graf. If it's a little bit big diamond, it's gonna be like already like a hundred K. Like two carats will be like a hundred thousand dollars easily like you want you know, some like visible items on you like a bracelet like a notizable piece of jewelry so if you want to go anywhere serious like if you want something not for a teenage girl if you want something serious like for a woman it's gonna cost you oh baby it's gonna cost you i mean like 50 grand easily fifty thousand dollars the hundred thousand dollars easily like the whole story behind us buying um graph so we are having a newborn girl and we decided that we should gift her um diamonds and the house you know so um our daughter vera she was born like um four months ago she's four months old right now so we bought her a house in america because we're living in the states so like a house in the states that she can do whatever she wants with the house once she is gonna reach the age of 20. i was so full uh before the age of 30 but i mean the age of 20 i hope it's fine i hope she's not gonna just go crazy you know sell the house and do some stupid um things with the money and then we decided that like a house and diamonds that will be like you know a great start for her in life graph it's obviously a completely different level from any other brands that i've ever tried you know it's a completely different level from cartier from uh, vca from bulgari from whatever else is out there honestly i've never had a better experience like it's just a completely like guys completely different level of um a service so i went to their boutique in um new york and i took a look on a few pieces in new york on manhattan and then when i went back home to north carolina we are living in north carolina currently but we're moving every like two years we're moving because my husband is military so we lived in louisiana new orleans now we moved to north carolina and next we're gonna move to dc i hope so um that's the plan like in a year and a half from here only because my husband once again he's military so he's getting orders and we're just moving by his orders so once i came back home to north carolina i just simply ordered these items on online so i was so very impressed with the unboxing so it is arrived with like a bag like that it came with a note this is for vera once she can reach can read it and came with you know all this like oh my god 
everything is so heavy you know like this is like a true luxury the luxury is in details i am always saying that even like the straps like you know with kiwi everything is just like heavy it's like the highest quality basically on earth it is a king with um two white glows which just is so very cute so from now on i only do all my jewelry unboxings with these glows and it just definitely makes it look way way better this is an envelope and everything is like branded it's just freaking great so what we have here it's um the receipt like the bill um the what is that i have no idea Oh, another note, like one more, one more card, you know, to write, to hand write, like, you know, a note for the one you are gifting it to. Oh my God, it's so, it's such a luxury. Everything is just like the touch. I mean, the touch of everything, just like, you just feel that this is like freaking so very expensive for sure. You feel it. And I'm telling you guys, I shopped at Van Cleef, I shopped at Cartier, I shopped at like Louis Vuitton and Prada and Chanel and everything. I'm telling you guys, not even one of them gets any closer to the luxury that Graf is giving you in the packaging, in the boxes, how they treat their customers, in the customer service. Other brands are definitely, you know, saving their money on packaging and stuff like that. Graf, mm-mm, that isn't yet the story with this brand. And I'm saying yet because Chanel and Dior and all these like high-end brands, they used to be like Graf. They aren't anymore. They went to mass market and now like everyone have Chanel, everyone have Louis Vuitton, everyone have Cartier, you know, like they're just like mass market. And I'm not a fan of mass market. And this is why I was like, I want to go higher. I mean, Cartier, it's not like luxury rose enough anymore i do want to go higher and this is how i choose graph for my daughter Thompson, for myself because if i would like to shop graph for myself oh boy oh boy it's gonna be like a new car i am crazy with things i love luxury i love high end but i would better go for a house neither than for you know a diamond well maybe after i'll have like 10 houses i'll go for a diamond sure but Mm -mm, mm -mm. not yet i'm not there any yet so guys um this is the certificate of authenticity guys if you will only know how gorgeous this is and of course that everything came twice i just like you know showing you random stuff so here is the certificate of authenticity of one of them i don't even know which one of them it's um the necklace or the earrings one of them and oh my god even their like business cards of the assistant that packed this for me it's like, you know, a very thick carton. It's not like the usual um, cheap business cards. It's like, wow, just, you just hold it in your hand and you're like, okay, this is luxury. Oh my God, mm -mm. this is a true luxury. Yes, nothing else. Nothing that I've ever seen that I've ever been cannot compare to the highest quality of this brand. This is just incredible. Anyway, we bought it April 24 and today it's, uh, you know, um, the end of July and I just, uh, came to the part when I am filling the unboxing. Yes, so it's just simply was laying here all this time waiting for, you know, to get unboxing and here we are, here we are. Another cool thing is that I have such a respect to this brand that that's the only brand that made me to take off my 50 cents chucker out of my neck, you know, because I have like, you know, such a respect uh, for this brand. And no, I have zero problem wearing this chucker that I bought for 50 cents with my VCA, with my diamond stack necklace and so very on. I just felt like craft deserves more. And that's the first time and the first jewelry out there that I took it off just so you will understand how much I am like respecting and like, you know, excited about this brand. Another thing I really want to show you guys, it's the box it came with. So it's so, so, so very heavy and it's so very like gorgeous and luxurious. Oh my God. It is basically, everything is branded and it's like works on magnet right here. You just open it and then you go ahead and open this one. And here is where we had, you know, um, bought the boxes of jewelry this is just so gorgeous another thing i wanted to talk to you about today it's actually the comment that i've got so i posted a review of my um love bracelet by cartier and um many people not just one but many people commented of like hey so i'm wearing a fake one you're so stupid you know to spend like eight thousand dollars on one single bracelet and they were like i have a fake one and no one can notice so here is an answer of what i think about it you know it's fake and that's what really matters i do not buy stuff to impress others i don't care about others i don't give a mm about anyone out there i only care about myself 
That's it, girl. That's it. I have zero fakes. Zero fakes. I will never embarrass myself by wearing a replica item. Never. First of all, it's embarrassing. If you are trying, you know, to look like rich or to look like uh, you bought some very expensive thing by buying a replica, this is very embarrassing. And you know, I respect myself so much that I will never do that to myself. Another thing is that you know you are wearing a fake. If you feel great about it, okay. I don't, I wouldn't feel great about it. I will feel embarrassed. I will feel ashamed. I will walk around and I will be very scared that someone will notice. I will just like be so very stressed about it. If I would walk around with replica, I will just hate myself. So I feel amazing about wearing these items. And once you are wearing a fake one, so I mean, what are you trying to do? Like, so, okay, so what have you done? You cheated. You cheated, first of all, yourself. No one out there cares about you. I mean, forgot about it. No one cares. No one gives a mm, because people only care about themselves. And this is true. No one cares what you're wearing. No one cares how you are doing. I mean, you know, except your family, obviously. So forget about others. When people commenting, I'm wearing fake and no one can notice. So what? What you have done here? You're cheating yourself, first of all. You're lying to yourself. You're lying to others. You're cheating others. What's good about it? What's there to bargain about it? I don't understand, I don't get it. So first of all, you're lying to yourself and this is the only thing in my opinion that matters. You, yourself, how do you treat yourself? First of all, I don't care about others. I'm not buying these pieces to impress anyone. I don't care about them. So this is my answer for all these comments of like, you're so stupid to pay $8,000 for a bracelet. You're so stupid to pay, I don't know, $6,000 for a necklace. This is my business. I'm paying whatever I want and you can buy whatever you want, but don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me, I mean, I'm the full one and you're the smart one. No, you are cheating yourself. And if you choose to cheat yourself, sure, this is your business, but to me, what really matters is that you know it's fake. You know you are wearing a fake loose suit on or whatever else. So guys, that was actually all for today. Please let me know your opinion about my new craft pieces. These aren't for me, by the way. Yeah, butterflies. I wouldn't wear butterflies, like, you know, as a grown-up woman. Obviously, my taste, my opinion only. Please let me know your opinion down below in the comments. Let me know what do you think. And there aren't many, like, graph reviews out there on YouTube. So I'm really happy to join the graph small, 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 very tiny family of um, graph reviewers here on YouTube. So welcome for me aboard. So guys, subscribe to my channel, give this video a huge thumbs up, and I'll see you all in my next videos. XOXO, Valentine.